Eric Feingold, Brent Davis. Hey, Brent, how are you? Good, Eric thanks Feingold. for having us. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is a museum, but you've got a house here, but this isn't any house, is it? That's right, Brent. Yeah, it's a, uh, what we have behind us here is a uh, Lustron house, which uh, from 1948 to 1950, the Lustron Corporation, which was based right here in Columbus, uh, produced uh, this type of house. It was a mass-produced, prefabricated house uh, made out of porcelain and enamel steel. Let's go take a look. Sure, sounds good. So porcelain and enamel steel had a number of advantages. Um, for one, um, it was really, really easy to clean and uh, it didn't rust easily and, and the colors would last for a very, very long time. Um, and along with those functional advantages, it had some nice aesthetic value as well. Like this uh, z futuristic zigzag that you can find on the column here that reflect a uh, growing interest in atomic technology in the late 1940s. So this is kind of a trendy house to have at the time. Absolutely. You went home? Oh, this is very nice. Yeah, so uh, Lustron houses were marketed as the house that America has been waiting for. And um, they were really pushed as very modern and, and livable spaces. And as you can see here, um, you know, you have the built-in uh, bookshelf right here, which takes away the need to have furniture taking up floor space in this open floor plan. And actually one of the other neat things about uh, the Lustron that we've set up here in the museum is that we've furnished the house with various objects that may have been found in a typical Lustron home in the 50s and uh, ultimately it gives our guests a way to engage with history that they may not usually get in a museum. I love the 16 millimeter projector. We might need that if, yeah. <laughs> if there's a budget cut. This is great how you can actually come in and sit on the furniture and go through the furnishings. It's really part of the exhibit. That's the idea, to create an immersive experience for our guests right here in the museum. So. Let's go immerse ourselves in the kitchen. Sounds good. So the kitchen is pretty interesting in here, uh, mainly for this appliance right here, which is called the Thor Auto Magic. And uh, this was a product that was developed in the 1940s and it could be found in many uh, Lustron homes. And actually, if you take a look, you know, as this would suggest, it could wash clothes and it could wash dishes. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't do either very well, so... Uh, <laughs> great idea, to get a gravy stain out of a shirt, but... Right, really, I think... Really before multitasking, it caught on. So we've got this home in the museum, but there's still Lustron homes that people are using, right? There were about 2,500 total that were produced between 1948 and 1950, and of those, uh, there's just about anywhere from about 1,500 to 2,000 left. In Ohio, there's about 200 or so of the original 300 that were made. Are there any in Columbus in the area? Of course, yeah, there's uh, many throughout Columbus, but if you're driving down the street and uh, see one, I'd say turn around, come back to the Ohio History Center and check out the one that we've got here. So, Well, perfect. It's a great example and uh, really fun to see what Lustron Homes were all about. Yeah, it's a great piece of American and Ohio architectural history, so we're very proud to have it. Thanks for showing us around. Absolutely, Brent. Thank you. Thank you.